Have you ever come across a television series that instantly transports you to a whimsical and fantastical world? H.R. Puffed Stuff, the beloved 1969 TV series, is one such creation that has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. This enchanting show, filled with colorful characters and imaginative landscapes, has a unique charm that has captivated generations. Whether you grew up watching it or discovered it later, H.R. Puffed Stuff has that certain something that makes it unforgettable. Is there a particular scene or moment in this TV series that has had a lasting impact on you? Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Now, let's delve into some random facts about the show. H.R. Puffstuff was the brainchild of Sid and Marty Croft, renowned for their innovative puppetry and captivating storytelling. The series introduced us to the magical living island and its inhabitants, including the endearing H.R. Puffstuff and the mischievous Wichipoo. With its catchy theme song and vibrant visuals, the show became an instant classic, sparking the imaginations of viewers and leaving an enduring legacy in the world of children's entertainment. So, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? Share your thoughts and nostalgia with us in the comments below. H.R. Puffed Stuff holds a special place in the hearts of many, and we'd love to hear how it has touched your life. The H.R. Puffenstuff character was originally created for the Hemi's Fair 68 World's Fair in 1968. The Crofts produced a show called Kaleidoscope for the Coca-Cola Pavilion headlined by a dragon named Luther, who became the year's symbol of the fair. The Crofts overhauled the design and changed his colors, with plans to name the show Lutherland until a friend suggested Puff Stuff, which he derived from the recent hit song Puff the Magic Dragon. Jim Neighbors laid down vocal tracks for Luther, but his recording was unusable, so he was replaced by mimic Lenny Weinrib, who continued to use the same voice for Puff Stuff. This unique character's origin story at a World's Fair led to the creation of the popular TV series H.R. Puff Stuff in 1969, making it an intriguing piece of television history. Marty Croft accepted guardianship of Jack Wilde while the teenage boy was in America filming the show. Croft had two teenage daughters, and he later mentioned that Wilde made my life hell. This unique aspect of the TV series H.R. Puff Stuff in 1969 sheds light on the challenges faced during its production. When Jack Wilde, the talented British actor, came to the United States to work on the whimsical and fantastical world of H.R. Puff Stuff, little did Marty Croft know what he was getting himself into. The Croft family welcomed Jack into their home during his time in America a decision that would add a whole new layer of complexity to the already demanding task of creating the beloved children's show. Jack, being a teenager far away from home, brought a sense of youthful exuberance and unpredictability that was both a blessing and a challenge for Marty and his family. Croft's two teenage daughters quickly found themselves caught up in the whirlwind of Jack's energetic personality, and it was not always a smooth ride. The mischievous and spirited Wilde seemed to have a knack for turning even the most ordinary moments into an adventure, which, for a family striving to maintain some semblance of normalcy, could be quite exhausting. However, despite the difficulties and the occasional chaos that Jack Wilde brought into their lives, there was no denying the immense talent and creativity he contributed to the production of H.R. Puff Stuff. Wilde's portrayal of Jimmy, the show's young protagonist, was a key element in making the show a success, and his infectious energy and charisma added a unique charm to the series. In retrospect, Marty Croft could look back and smile, acknowledging that the challenges of having a teenage Jack Wilde in their home were part and parcel of creating something as magical and memorable as H.R. Puff stuff. It was a time of growth, learning, and creativity, and the memories of those days are etched into the annals of television history. So, while the guardianship of Jack Wilde might have been a roller coaster ride, it was a journey worth taking, as it contributed to the enduring legacy of H.R. Puff stuff. This unique glimpse into the behind-the-scenes adventures of the show adds an intriguing layer to its history and showcases the dedication and passion that went into its creation. The creators of the 1969 TV series H.R. Puff Stuff, Sid and Marty Croft, drew inspiration from their childhood memories. Sid Croft's favorite movie, The Wizard of Oz, played a significant role in shaping the series. 
the characterization of the witch and the whimsical, enchanted world of Puffed Stuff Bear's similarities to the classic film. This inspiration led to the creation of a colorful and magical world that captured the imaginations of viewers. Additionally, the Crofts made a sponsorship deal with Kellogg's cereal for HR Puffed Stuff. As part of this collaboration, Kellogg's released tie-in giveaway items, including bike pennants, stickers, rings, a replica of Freddy the Flute, and a soundtrack album featuring 11 songs from the show. This partnership added to the show's popularity and gave fans a chance to bring a piece of the fantastical world into their own lives. Furthermore, it's worth noting that Jack Wilde, who played a key role in the series, had previous experience working alongside a dragon puppet. He had starred in the 10-part British serial Danny the Dragon, which showcased his talent and familiarity with such puppetry. In conclusion, H.R. Puffstuff's roots in The Wizard of Oz, its partnership with Kellogg's, and Jack Wilde's prior dragon-related experience all contributed to the show's unique charm and enduring appeal. The 1969 TV series H.R. Puffstuff, a colorful and whimsical show that captured the imaginations of viewers, had its own share of intriguing facts. One such fact is that only two actresses auditioned for the role of Wichipu. Penny Marshall was the first to try out, but wasn't deemed the right fit. Then came stage veteran Billy Hayes, who, with a maniacal cackle and a desk-hopping act, secured the part on the spot. Despite the show's prominent use of magic mushrooms and a character named Puff and Stuff, creators Sid Croft and Marty Croft vehemently denied any drug connection. The show's seeming drug imagery was purely coincidental, and the creators stood by that. H.R. Puffed Stuff was an immediate hit, leading to its renewal for a second season by NBC. However, the series had become a significant financial burden for the producers. They declined the renewal, forcing the network to air reruns instead. These intriguing facets of H.R. Puffed Stuff shed light on the behind-the-scenes dynamics and the show's cultural impact, making it a unique piece of television history. Stay tuned for more interesting insights into this beloved series. As we bid adieu to our journey through the whimsical world of H.R. Puffed Stuff, we invite you to take a moment to delve into the treasure trove of memories that this iconic 1969 TV series has undoubtedly stirred within you. The zany adventures of Jimmy and his fantastical friends, led by the affable Mayor H.R. Puffed Stuff, have left an indelible mark on the hearts of generations. Perhaps you recall the vibrant colors and imaginative landscapes that unfolded on your screen or the infectious tunes that had you tapping your toes. Maybe it's the lessons learned about friendship, kindness, and the power of creativity that resonate with you even today. H.R. Puffed Stuff was more than just a TV show. It was a portal to a realm where imagination knew no bounds. Now is the time to share your cherished memories and thoughts about this timeless classic. How did H.R. Puffed Stuff influence your childhood or inspire your creativity? What moments or characters from the show do you hold close to your heart? Your personal connection to the series is a testament to its enduring magic. We encourage you to engage with fellow enthusiasts, relive those enchanting moments, and celebrate the enduring legacy of HR Puff Stuff. It's through these shared experiences that we keep the spirit of the show alive, ensuring that it continues to enchant and inspire generations to come. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Keep those fond recollections alive, and may the enchantment of HR Puffed Stuff forever shine brightly in your heart.